Okay, look at that. Three stacks of upper, upper class high society. God's gift to firewood notoriety. I was feeling it out, digging that out. I like it. Thank you, ACDC. 69, dudes! So this is wetter than last night's love. Uh, and it, I'm not going to be able to burn it this season. Gina, it burns. She's an awesome squatcher. So how am I going to solve this problem of getting wood at the last minute? <laughs> Dang. I got to stop the pauses. My pausitis is just crushing me lately. In order to solve my problem of not having enough dry wood in time for winter, um, look at that, season. It's down at the Lewis and Clark gravel bar in my private reserve. Let's go down there and check it out. I might have to floss, call upon the powers of Spock to transport me down to the Lewis and Clark gravel bar. I must floss for Spock and he'll get me down. Spock! I am flossing for you! Ooh, ooh, yeah! Spock! Thank you! You transported me to oh, oh, oh. Life Insurance Ridge? How dare he! I get it. I had a point to make before we go down and look at my great big log. This tree that I just bucked up down there, which is buckskin by the way, just like my condoms. Oh, what was I going to say about that? Buckskin condoms. So that'll be part of the merch here at Off Grid and Whiskey, besides the jackets, is the genuine Sasquatchian buckskin condoms, yes. Remember when merch in high school meant marijuana? Everybody called it merch. At least we're in my hood. That's what we called it. Hey man, you gonna score some merch? <laughs> Mad Marijuana Man, MMM, everybody put that on the bathroom walls, the stalls, back when they had stalls. And you can shy out in peace. Let's go, we're gonna have so much fun, you're gonna be whistling zippity doo dah out of your dingus hole. No, just dingus, right? Ooh, is it whistling zippity doo dah out of your dingus or dingus hole? What do you think of the anus as a whole? That's the question. All right, I don't trust, speaking of Uranus, I don't trust Spock to transport me. You know, this was not on my uh, docket. Spock it, come on. Woo. Okay, now here's the bad news. Now here's the real bad news. The only problem with my private reserve, it is a lot. This is as far as I can get with the Jolly Rancher four-wheeler. To put the wood right in the back there. I'm a long ways away. It's a long road when you're on your own, Rambo. So this is a disaster area where it used to be a big, lush jungle, the Cambodian holiday. Okay, this is where the river changed two years ago and knocked everything down. So the log is up your butt around the corner, so let's go. Look at that maple buried under all that rock. Uh, I wish I could get that, but I can't. Oh, water. <laughs> Hooch. How about that? Days stretching to weeks. Weeks into months to get to the beginning. This is where it all starts. These are some Douglas firs that came down and logged in here, jammed. Uh, log jamming. Oh, what was that? It was a porn and uh, the dude. Yeah, the Big Lebowski, log jamming. So we're doing some log jamming. Look at that. Side note, number 77, you get eight more. Speaking of eating, a beaver took all the bark off this cool little cedar right here, western red cedar, and it died. This happened last summer, and it died. So it's pesky beavers. Watch out. Got some cedar on my Peter. Whack it up. There uh! she blows, awesome squatchers. Look at this. There's a river right out front right there, Sasquatchian. Just gorgeous. There's that genuine Sasquatchian buckskin right there, condoms. That's going to be part of the merch here at Off Green Whiskey, I swear. <laughs> All these rounds are 20 inches because that's what's going to fit in the King Blazo wood stove that I have. So that'll help save a few trips going all the way back to the Jolly Rancher four-wheeler, but uh, yeah, I can lift 
probably about right into there, one round at a time. And I think of it as, you know, yeah, sure, you're not whistling zippity doo out of your out of your dingus hole. Is it dingus or dingus hole? What was I saying before this whole anal chaos happened? Wow, <laughs> jeez. I don't know. Maybe I got to rewind the footage and find out where I was because I was on talking about something. Oh, it's to get from here to the four wheeler, the Jolly Rancher is going to be. It was a workout. That's what I'm saying to you. I consider it part of my workout. I don't think of it as uh, something bad and negative. You know, it's just I'm looking forward to doing this because I'll. Uh, I need a workout, obviously. I mean, look at Selena right now. Does she look fat in those pants? Look at these fat pumpkin rounds. I love it. There's no way I can carry this, but uh, I'll split these in half and then carry the half. So I'm going to be carrying on my wayward son. There is the Sasquatchian River. You hear it flowing like a mountain stream. The reason I bucked this up, it was totally improvised. I wanted to show you with that on camera, but across on the other side of the river, which technically I do own, all these idiots have wrecked property over there. And they're the morons that always come over here and think this is their national park. They're all partying over here. And I've got the loudest chainsaw known to man. So I said, this is my day. They were throwing garbage and stuff. I'm not gonna take this anymore, you know? <laughs> I never have. So I just sat here, full tank of gas, rocked out probably 20 minutes of full bore chainsawing while all these kids and Miss Upper West Sasquatch USA was out here and they were just staring me down going, you son of a... <laughs> I loved it. It was great. Oh, side note number 68, you do me and all you want. So I had this trespasser. He's down river. He came over here totally torqued me off didn't apologize for he snuck up on me while i was chainsawing i'm like who does and i have my gun you know who does that i don't know but anyways i've got a new routine that i'm gonna lay on these morons these these dingus holes Are they, is it dingus holes or dingus i don't i'm gonna tell them flat out i'm gonna go hey I've, i'm give i gave up i'm done i'm tired of you people i'm gonna i won't be here anymore I'm opening up the Sasquatch Ranch as a trailer park and for low-income families. And it'll and on top of that, it'll be for dudes who just got out of prison, like for rape, murder, arson, rape. I said rape twice, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Blazing Saddles. But that's what I'm gonna tell them. Down here at the Lua, I'm making spots so they can come bathe and do their laundry, get their water, take dumps power dumps and whiz anywhere the kids everybody all their all these ex-cons are going to live here at the sasquatch there's going to be a 60 units in their trailers you know the trailer park 60 units <laughs> that's what i'm gonna and i gotta do a deadpan i can't laugh like that 24 and 10 is what 34 trips i gotta go from here to the jolly rancher Woo! <laughs> Ultimate warrior, when we meet at Squatch and Slam, I will be an immovable object. An unstoppable force. I will hoist your body off of mine, just like this. Round of Douglas fur. You might as well get a pump in while you're doing it too. Just give me four sets of 10 on log. Oh, Selena, come on, baby. You know what I'm saying about that. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. That first step's a doozy. Oh, come on, you raw dog and animal sexual. Yes, you can do it. Reminds me of the days packing kegs over your shoulder when you were 17 and actually could do that without a hernia. <laughs> A torn spleen, liver. Oh, woo! What did I say? 34 trips? Oh, my walnut wallet.